Hey, what's up guys? So I've been pretty busy lately and I haven't put out as many videos as I've been wanting. And so in this video, I want to share with you guys kind of what I've been up to lately, as well as uh, some of the things I've got coming up in the pipeline. So um, as far as real life stuff, I've been pretty busy, I actually just moved. Um, so getting settled in the new place, getting furniture, just took a trip to Mexico uh, with my girlfriend for a friend's wedding. Cool trip. We both got kind of sick from the food or water or ice, even though we were cautious of all that. Um, yeah, so that happened. Uh, getting taxes done. So it's just a lot of like real life stuff. Um, but I've got a lot of interesting stuff coming up down the line in terms of radar detectors and dash cams. And that's really what I wanted to share with you guys. So starting with uh, radar detectors. Um, upcoming videos. I'm going to be talking about uh, a radar detector in the $100 to $150 price point that may be uh, one of the best affordable picks for those of you guys looking for an inexpensive but still good radar detector. I'm going to be talking about a new radar detector that's also like integrated with a dash cam in one integrated unit. Uh, it's a new detector. I'm going to be going over the radar detector and dash cam combination thing. I'm going to be talking about the Whistler CR93. Uh, it's actually out in Texas right now being tested to see how it performs, all that kind of stuff. So once we get a better feel as far as performance, uh, I'll get it back. We'll do filtering tests and all that kind of stuff. I'll do a review on the top of the line Whistler, the CR93. Um, in terms of dash cams, I've got two dash cams right now that I've been meaning to do uh, reviews of. I've got the top of the line black view, the dual channel, front and rear. So the DR650S two channel, as well as the equivalent from Papago, the GoSafe 760. It's also a dual channel dash cam front and rear. So I've got reviews coming for both of those. After that, I want to do um, an expensive top of the line, like higher end single channel dash cam. It's the Vicovation Opia 2, I believe. Uh, I'm going to get one of those in for testing. Uh, two other ones that I'm actually really interested in doing reviews of that I haven't yet. There's the VFO A119, which you can find for about 90 to $100. dollars Good quality GPS built in. It seems to be one of the best bang for the buck dash cams, uh, as well as that's a single channel one. I also want to do a dual channel, the uh, the Thinkware F770. It's supposed to be one of the best dual channel dash cams, so I want to do that as well. So a bunch of stuff coming in terms of dash cams. As far as powering them, I want to go over solutions as far as like uh, running off your car battery or dedicated batteries or even additional alternative solutions like running your dash cams off solar power for extended periods of time. So bunch of stuff on dash cams. Uh, coming back to radar detector stuff, um, in maybe a couple weeks or so, one, two months sometime, something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time is more radar detector detector testing with the Spectra Elite. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be able to get one of those actually sent in and do a bunch of testing. I've already done testing with the VG2, which is an older RDD. Uh, next, I'm going to be doing the Spectra Elite, which is the newest version of the radar detector detectors. So I've got a bunch of detectors. I'm looking forward to getting all those tested out. So that's something to come as well. Uh, in my car, uh, I want to also start doing some more work with uh, remote mount radar detectors. I used to have a Stinger installed in my car, um, and it was kind of tough to get it installed because I... Uh, the way I had to run the cable, like to run through my firewall is a very small hole, so I actually had to physically cut the cable, it's like a USB cable, and then run it through like to remove the connectors basically because the hole was so small, and then go into my engine bay and re-solder that cable like wire by wire. Uh, a little bit of a pain. Well, now I want to do um, the Stinger, got another one, uh, the Redenso HD+, the Net Radar, the M3s, like all of the current top remotes. I want to install all of them in my car. Now. In order to be able to run all those cables, I'm going to have to have like a cable or a hole drilled in my firewall. So I'll go to some professional guy, drill it, will run the cables and then reseal it. So that's something to come up. Uh, once I get that done, I'm going to have the remotes installed and I'll be able to do more remote testing, reviewing, comparisons and videos. Uh, I also want to do some educational stuff. Like one of the things that's been coming up on the forums recently is talking about interference. And what happens is, uh, you know, if you're running several radar detectors at the same time, like two windshield mounts, like a classic example is the red line for long performance and the V1 with the arrows. Running two detectors at the same time can cause interference and problems with both detectors actually interfering with one another. So I want to do a video going over that as well. So kind of some of the educational aspects of radar detectors, uh, in addition to like the reviews and testing and all that kind of stuff too. So uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff planned, a lot of things in mind now that everything is kind of settling down as far as the move real life stuff. I'm like, yay, now I've got more time to make the video. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting all that stuff done. Um, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks to you guys for watching. That's kind of what's going to be coming down the line. A big thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping me do all this stuff. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff coming and there's like this never ending <laughs> video creation process. You get new ideas, new products come out, new tests to do, uh, new toys to play with, all that fun stuff. So anyways, 
that's kind of a preview as far as some of the things that are going to be coming down the line over the next couple of weeks and months uh, as you know now that I'm getting more time to get back into creating videos for you guys so uh, thanks for watching stay tuned make sure you're subscribed and as always see you guys in the next video